Dear Sean, I can hardly believe our day is finally here. You are the man I've chosen for the rest of my days, and I couldn't be happier. Today, I will become your wife. As much as, I, as, as much as I have anticipated this day, I'm equally excited to experience the rest of our days together. Thank you for loving me with your pure, genuine, unconditional love. You are my greatest blessing, and I promise I will do my best to always make you proud of me. I will strive to give you happiness all the days of your life. I look forward to each chapter, knowing that what we have together will withstand any storm and grasp all of our life's joys with grateful hearts. You have given me so much more than I ever could have imagined, genuine, selfless love being the greatest. I am honored to become your wife today. You are my safe haven, my comfort, my joy, and my very best friend. Wherever you go, I will go, for you are my home. I can't wait to see you in a few short hours. I will be your Mrs. O'Connor. Love your girl, Nancy Gay. After all the years of thinking about you, it's kind of like a dream come true. This really is like a dream come true. You don't know how many shooting stars that I wished upon, but today it all happened. So I honestly am the luckiest man in the world. There's no doubt in my mind. And I will make sure that we have the most awesome life unbelievable adventures and hang out and just chill and just be you and me. I just want you to know I'm going to take care of you for the rest of your life because I absolutely love you more than you could ever imagine and I just want you to know that. All weddings are special occasions, but perhaps this one is even more so because it represents a second chance for happiness for both of them. And they decided to grab it with both hands. We were just so happy when Nancy and Sean came and said they were gonna get married because right from the get-go, we said, we both liked Sean so much. It seemed like we'd known him all our life. And really, 
we didn't realize that they had a past history as we heard at the church today. If I'd have known that he was trying to hustle my daughter when she was at the arena, it had been a whole different story, I'll tell you. Sean had a great sense of humor. This is one of the things that kind of irked me a little bit. Not his sense of humor so much, but the way he displayed it. I always, taught, I always took the opportunity to kid him because I knew he had a good sense of humor and he would, he would take it the right way. But one of the things he always used to do when he worked out west, it seemed like every week he was sending flowers to Nancy. And I thought, oh, geez, I mean, I send flowers to my wife Valentine's Day, maybe, you know, Christmas, maybe, and I'm, I'm like this. You know, I'm pretty proud. This guy sends flowers every week. It's just, it's just brutal, you know? And after a while, it wears you down. It really does. We wish, both Brendan and I wish Nancy and Sean the happiness that life has to offer. We love you both. It's always easy for me to talk about things I love. And something I love is definitely my mom and Sean. And I mean, what more can I say about Sean than he is the guy that makes my mom smile. <laughs> it, it makes me so happy this year. So happy. Mom and Sean, the greatest honor is to be standing here today as both your daughter and maid of honor and to let you know that I couldn't feel any more blessed with the man you've chosen to spend the rest of your life with, which is so true and everybody here can see that. You and Sean have shown countless amounts of grace and I feel like when I think about things like today and who they are as parents, like grace is the word that comes to me because you have shown so much love and so much support and even when I haven't been the best, which has happened quite a few times over and over. They show so much grace and love and open arms and, and that has just been so true. And Sean is like such a good person to like go back to and he'll just tell you the facts and tell you how it is and like get you back on your feet. And I don't doubt that he's done that for everybody here who needs help. 